I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design specialist. Today we're going to look at Sherwin-Williams Light French Grey, which is a bit of a liar because while it is a French Grey, it's not very light. So every paint color has an LRV number. An LRV number is, it's basically going to tell you how light or dark a paint color is compared to black or white. So zero is black, 100 is white, and every paint color is going to sit somewhere in between that. This guy here has an LRV of 53, so he's not really in the light range. He's getting closer to the light medium range, so a little bit more depth, a little bit more moodiness to him. So if you have a dark room, it can be any exposure, north, south, east, west. If you're not getting enough natural light coming in or enough interior light, you might find that this guy's a little gloomy, a little depressing and heavy. You want to go a bit lighter. I find that the LRV number of 62 is a great place to start. It's a great baseline. If you want to go darker and moodier, you can go there, but it's a good place when you're looking for a general light depth color. Now you can see that with these two. These are Sherwin-Williams Big Chill and On the Rocks. You see that shift. So these two are typical light depth paint colors, and it shows you how light French gray does have that little bit more body to it. And you know what else it has? A purple undertone. So every gray has an undertone. This guy is no exception. And I know a lot of you are looking for a gray with no undertone. I totally get it, but you gotta pick one. So you're dealing with blue, purple, or green. Most gray colors favor one. Some can really slide between the two. This guy really does favor purple. Now it's subtle. If you don't like purple undertone, you might still like this. It's subtle enough that it's not jumping out at you. If you're super sensitive to purple, it probably goes too far. Now, if I'm going to partner this color with a white, I'm going to do a nice, clean, crisp white, something like Sherwin-Williams Extra White, Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White. Now, if you already have white trim and it's a warmer trim, a creamy trim, if it's a little warm, you can get away with it. It's, uh, it's pretty. I wouldn't say it's any great wonder, but you can get away with it if you really, really want a gray. Now we can also compare it to another gray called Sherwin-Williams Mindful Gray. Now this is really neat because this is a real light medium depth color. So this is lighter. Now the interesting thing is that this is a warm gray with a soft purple undertone. This is cooler looking. It's, I wouldn't say it's icy cold, but it's a bit stormier looking and not as warm. Now the cool thing is that Mindful Gray has a wink of green tucked in it that a lot of people don't see. But compare the two and you can totally see the green come up and this green also shows you the purple that's coming up in there. Now light French gray does like to be partnered with other cool colors versus warm colors. It's going to prefer cool colors. One that I really like with it is rain washed. So pretty. Rain washed is a blue green. I have a video on that that should be up. If not it'll be up soon. Um, it also looks wicked with darker colors. So if you want to do a neat feature wall, an island, or you want to do your powder room or your office a really neat striking color, I'd go for something like web gray, super wicked. Um, oh, that's Benjamin Moore shaker gray. That makes me all kinds of happy. And this fella, Gray's Harbor. Again, super pretty. So it's really loving those cool colors. I probably wouldn't partner it with a gray that's lighter and warmer than it. Um, and I, the grayages would be a really tough sell with this guy. So there you have it. That is light French gray. If you want to learn more, I have a great blog with some color reviews and photos you can check out. And I hope you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.